I didn't even start the video and I have flour on my <laughs> uniform. How unprofessional of me. I, I do apologize. I'll take 20% off of your bill when you're finished eating if I still feel sorry. Well, everybody, we did it to him. We finally took a vacation and it was really nice. I understand now why normal people everywhere do that regularly. <laughs> Leave town and go relax with a drink in your hand on the beach. Although I did get food poisoning on uh, my vacation, which wasn't fun. I recommend the vacation, not the food poisoning. I realized upon coming up with the idea to make this video that a theme that will probably be happening a lot in these videos uh, is me cooking things that I've never eaten before. Because as much as I love food, I haven't eaten a lot of it. Uh, whether it's because I just never learned about it or no one ever really showed it to me the right way growing up so I could fall in love with it or it has gluten or something else that I can't eat in it. So, so I guess this is technically the second installment of making and eating my first ever blank. What a catchy title. For real though, I have had so much pizza in my life. Good pizza, I've had great pizza, I've had bad pizza, I've had pizza that tastes like cardboard, but I've never in my entire life once tried deep dish pizza. And once again, I could probably blame that on being celiac, but at the same time, I know that that exists, like a gluten-free deep dish pizza exists. I am super down. Like, I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. I don't have like a, an expectation for it, but I mean, who are we kidding? We cooked banana peels a couple weeks ago. So it's gonna be a step up from that. I made a couple special trips. And by trips, I mean, I, I ordered a task rabbit to go pick these things up for me uh, to some specialty stores to get like the best cheese that we could find. But yeah, we are going to make some plant-based but cheesy deep dish pizza. The first thing that we are going to do <laughs> is plan ahead. <laughs> so I've prepared all of the ingredients, well, the dough ingredients that I'm going to need right now to put together the pizza dough. Uh, and then tomorrow, I'll meet you back here, same time, same place, uh, to actually bake the pizza, make the sauce, put the whole thing together. Cause this dough needs to sit and hang out by itself and think about what it's done for a lot of hours. So I'm gonna let it actually sit overnight in the fridge. Are you ready to do it to them, deep dish style? Pinterest, Pinterest, you are my best friend. What you're gonna need for this are just a whole bunch of dry ingredients. Um, obviously you're gonna need flour, coarsely ground cornmeal, salt, sugar, yeast, xanthan gum, oil, water. I believe that's everything. <laughs> Well, we're off to a great start because I forgot which of these is salt and which is sugar. So I really hope this is sugar. It's sugar. So we are going to place two cups of our flour, a bit of xanthan gum, the coarse grind cornmeal. They say specifically coarse grind, I don't know why. Some active dry yeast and sugar, which I just tested to confirm with science that this is sugar. So. We're gonna add all those together and then we are just going to whisk our problems away. Then you're gonna stop whisking, add the salt, and you're gonna keep whisking. I don't know why that step exists. Sometimes I feel like recipes just wanna hear themselves talk, okay? Why couldn't we have just put the salt in at the beginning? You needed to write an extra sentence? I just, you know, recipes be like, by the way, I wanted to say a serious thank you for uh, you guys commenting, no matter how angry you were which some of you were, telling me not to mess around with a pressure cooker. It is no joke. A pressure cooker can explode and be very dangerous. So if you're using a pressure cooker, just be more careful than I was. So lukewarm water, we're going here, and then the oil. Okay, now we're gonna mix this up. I really should get a stand mixer at some point, because I feel like the more I cook, the more I'm just gonna wish I had one. Here's where we need to improvise, because this is not gonna make a pizza crust. Um, I'm following the recipe exactly. I'm thinking what we could do here is add uh, one little egg substitute. This is thinking on our feet here. This is what we have so far. It's actually not the worst thing ever. The egg definitely helped a lot. Um, it made it like malleable. My only concern is that tomorrow when we take this out of the fridge, will this just crumble or will it be ready to go? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's not a whole lot we can do at this point but just kind of hope it turns out better. What we can do though, is do two batches, which is why I have measured out two of everything we're doing right now. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge and the one difference that's pretty 
Significant for the second version that we're gonna do is baking powder. I'm gonna put some baking powder in it, like a very small amount, but baking powder is good for adding a little kind of like chewiness. Okay, this feels much better actually. But if I'm gonna be a betting man, I think this dough is gonna come out better than the other one. Okay, the other thing I did differently on this version is I activated the yeast this time instead of just pouring it in there dry, which I don't think I was supposed to do. Like I think it's making a pretty big difference. This one seems to have his life a lot more together than the last. All right, well, I think we've already learned a few lessons. Activate your yeast, add an egg replacer or an egg if you eat eggs, and a little bit of baking powder never hurt anyone. A lot of baking powder hurt a lot of people. All right, well, I'm gonna put this in the fridge, then I'm gonna quickly fast forward 12 hours and uh, we'll meet back here for the rest of this recipe with much cleaner hands. Well, good morning. Who's ready to have some freaking pizza for breakfast since it is a new day? The theme of today is do our best. Actually, that's the theme of kind of every day, but especially today. So I have these two versions of dough that I made yesterday and that have sat in the fridge to rise and uh, apparently crack a little bit overnight. I think while we let those kind of adjust to the room temperature, we should continue to caffeinate, obviously. What's your favorite coffee to have in the morning? Mine's cold brew. We should make the sauce so that it's just kind of like ready to put on top of the pizza once the dough is all kind of put in the pants where it's supposed to be. I'm thinking just like a really, really basic pizza sauce, crushed tomatoes, basil, oregano, garlic, onion, salt, pepper, and just kind of let it cook and simmer in a pan. Okay, I, I keep saying it, but I really need to get like a portable hot, hot stove thing to put right here so I don't have to turn around. I can keep looking at you while I'm cooking something. That's what we need here. We get to bust out the knife, which is super exciting because it's been a couple recipes where we haven't been able to play with our sharp tools. Actually, extra sharp because I sharpened this yesterday with my new whetstones. All right, I'm doing the Gordon Ramsay method. Do uh, cross chops and then you're gonna want to kind of like cut them in half. Oh my God. It is crazy the difference a whetstone makes. This knife is just plowing through this onion right now. I'm not even, I'm literally not even putting any pressure down. The weight of the knife is like cutting this onion. So from all the recipes that I've seen of deep dish pizza, it doesn't look like the most convenient pizza to eat. It kind of looks like you need a plate. You can't just like grab a slice and go, which is okay, but it's just different to what I'm used to. Also, there is a really, really cool looking way to make this pizza that I found. Uh, which is to basically cook it in a cast iron pan. And I've decided that um, we're not that cool yet, okay? We need to start out pretty basic with some regular cake pans and see what happens. I'm preheating the oven to 425, so you're gonna start hearing that thing make some oven noises. Okay, now it is the moment of truth. First, I just wanted to show you. I brought out the big guns. I got this cheese, which I am so excited to have found. Violife makes incredible cheese, and I have their provolone slices as well. I'm gonna be using mainly these two with a little bit of this bad baby right here. Follow Your Heart melts really well. Violife has just the best flavor. So if all else fails today, at least we're gonna have good cheese, okay? That is the number one thing. Um, so I'm going to uh, coat these cake pans in some butter and oil. Okay, baby little flour on our work surface. I'm pretty much gonna put the dough down, press it a couple of times, and then put it right into the pan to where it's kind of taking the shape of the pan. I'm just kind of like punching this thing down. I'm just trying to kind of work it into the shape where the edges get high up. It kind of just looks like a pie crust at this point. This is a disaster. <laughs> this is worse than the crunch wrap. This is something out of a nightmare. Expectation, flipping the pizza dough with your hand in the air. Reality. I think similar to the crunch wrap, it's not gonna really matter if it's pretty. As long as we can get a final product, technically qualifies as deep dish pizza, I think we've accomplished our goal here. I think once it cooks, it might actually start to like hold together a little bit better. I am now going to uh, microwave some butter and then coat this in the butter and then it's time to just dress this thing up and throw it in the oven and forget we ever did this. Now, if I was a real chef or prepared, I would have a little kitchen brush, but I don't. So I'm just gonna use my fingers. So it gets to be browned a little bit. Like I said, this shit's not gonna hold 
its figure, but it's at least gonna taste pretty damn good. It's like if you eat it with your eyes shut, dude, Michelin star meal. Just don't open your eyes. Don't don't come in here. We're gonna put some pieces of provolone slices on here. Next, we're gonna put the delicious Violife mozzarella. You guys ready? Yeah. Dope as fuck. <laughs> looks pretty nice. Not gonna lie. I mean, if someone looks at this, I think their first reaction is, that's a deep dish pizza. And their second reaction is, why is the crust that color? <laughs> what do you think? Okay, Julian. I gotta hold it up for the camera. <laughs> you might be asking yourself, where's the cheese? It's underneath. It's underneath. I, I, I was hoping that would be a surprise. I didn't know you knew that. Okay, well the cheese is underneath. Oh my God! Sauce is homemade. Sauce is homemade, crust is homemade. Cheese is bought at a vegan specialty store. Ooh, he didn't make his own cheese. Report. Okay, it says wait 10 minutes, but come on. Julian. Come on. Bep, 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 bep. Pizza for breakfast, it's gonna fall apart. Bep, 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 bep. I know it says wait for 10 minutes. You'll feel bad, so you'll wait one minute and 45 seconds and say, it's been about 10 minutes. <laughs> this is what we do while we wait for 10 minutes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. All right, I'm gonna cut into this. Has it been 10 minutes? No, not at all. How many minutes? Like nine, eight? One minute and 45 seconds. Really? Well, I'll do the song and dance and wait here for 10 minutes if you want. I mean, listen, I got time. Okay, I'm having pizza for breakfast today. All right, do it. Do it to him. Okay, time to do it to him, baby. Time to do it to him. Hi. Wait, that looks good. It came out like actually not like the worst thing ever. It's really hot, but it's like holding together in one piece. I'm like kind of blown away that it didn't fall apart yet. Also, this is how you use a spatula. Pizza for breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real quick, I apologize specifically to Rum because I make fun of her all, all the time for doing this. But deep dish, you need a fork, I think. Oh, it's good. I'm like actually surprised by the crust. Mm -hmm. I thought it was gonna completely break on me, but it didn't. It's like holding together. It's really good. And all the flavors are really good too. I put three types of cheeses on it. Four. You know when people get in the argument about deep dish versus regular pizza? Yeah. They're both good, but they're just different. You yeah. Know? This isn't like the hold it in your hand and shove it in your mouth. Exactly, that's what I was saying earlier. Like that's the only pizza I know. So this is more like a pizza pie where you eat it on a plate. Dude, I'm like really enjoying this. 10 out of 10 for me. It's a new like experience to taste pizza and have the cheese come like melted with the crust mm -hmm. and not just on top. I really like it. Oh, one thing I imagine deep dish pizza doesn't do is hold well. Everyone talks about cold pizza. You can't do that with deep dish, right? Is it safe to say that we did it to them? It was really fun. This was fun. Wait. You just got here. This part is really fun. <laughs> Deep dish pizza, Chicago, you guys can stay. Also, I'm eating one piece and I'm fucking stuck. So it really gets the job done. <laughs> Once again, this might be our fourth recipe in a row. Has no calories. Oh my God. In the whole thing. Amazing. I will say though, going to sleep last night, I had bad dreams about that dough. <laughs> I was like so positive that it was just gonna not work. It worked. But it worked. Thank you for joining me for another installment of me in my Aries kitchen doing it to them, this time with deep dish pizza. Hopefully you got something out of it. Hopefully it made you hungry and you went to your kitchen and grabbed something, or it really inspired you enough to make it yourself at home. If you're gonna make this, definitely, 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 definitely take pictures of it and, and send it to me, because I wanna see what yours looked like in comparison to mine. Hopefully mine looked better, so my ego can feel better, but if yours looked better, that just means I'm not that great. But. I'm not here to be the best. I'm here to do it to him and then eat afterwards. <laughs> Are we gonna end it on a well? I don't think that's right. I don't think you should do that. Whoa!